Yo guys, y'all shit, so uh, this can be like a little awkward because I haven't done like a video where you see like my face and stuff, so uh, let's get right into it. So this has probably been the most requested video in a very long time and ignore me looking back and forth between the, the camera lenses like it was good everybody and then looking at that. Showing you how to, you know, play, you know, mobile World of War and Black Ops Zombies. Now before we get started, there are two things that we're going to point out here. Number one, this is going to be for Apple. You know, iOS. So not the Android stuff because I have no clue any of that stuff, how that would work or anything there. And then the second thing that I'm going to talk about is please don't go in the video and then be like download on your phone directly and then try to do that. It ain't going to work. You have to be on the computer, Mac or PC. Has to be that. I was going to screen record this, but meh, might as, might as well not. So basically, you know, when you come to uh, my uh, channel here and you go over to the community tab, a long time ago, a couple months ago, I'm, I'm going to put a link in the description so I'm not going to make y'all scroll all the way down here, the Google Drive. And that will bring you to, well, this here. Now I'm going to put that in the link description. You're going to see World of War slash Black Ops apps. Uh, equals and then you'll click the link and you'll come over to here. So you can see here these are all of pretty much the final version before they got removed. Actually Black Ops is it's 1.3.5 but World of War was 1.5.1. I don't know why because I looked at the app and on my old iPod updated stuff and it was still at that version. Oh and also the HD version is for the iPad so I have all three versions here. Basically step one on your computer you click that link and then you come over to here and then obviously you can click you know download, download, download. So that's step one. Here is here's the kind of a bit of a dilemma here. Let me let me swap back over to here. I've had mixed reviews from using that link for the past eight months. Some of you guys have said it's worked fine. Others have said they needed to sign in to actually you know, use the apps. There are two solutions to this problem. And, you know, I don't get it, though, because my buddy about four or five months ago hooked up his phone. He was signed in his iTunes, transferred over Black Ops, you'll understand why, to the newer phone, and it worked without any errors. So either you have to be signed into any uh, iTunes or Apple ID to get the apps to work, or if you're not signed in, it won't work. Either way, either be signed in, if it doesn't work, not be signed in, and then try it there. Technically speaking, I spent like four hours yesterday looking online. I literally could not find these apps anywhere listed online for download. That is incorrect, and my batteries, I can see, is running low, so I'll have to switch in a second. What I mean by incorrect is I mean there are links to the apps, but they're on super sketchy websites, and I just don't feel like making you guys go to those weird sketchy websites and stuff there. So now with that information out of the way, so now you have the apps downloaded, Step number two is to, well, download a program to transfer the apps to your, you know, iPod or iPhone or iPad. Fun fact, back in the day, iTunes, you could transfer apps over, but that has been since removed. And I don't think you would be able to actually drag and click to iTunes to your, uh, you know, uh, iPhone, iPad or iPod. So this program here, let me tell you this right now. I remember when I did this, transferring stuff over, dude, I went through dozens of programs. None of them worked because they always kept saying, oh, uh, incompatible, nope, can't transfer this over. I Amazing was the only program that actually worked. Basically, again, I'm going to put a link in the description to this program, and yeah. There might be some slight problematic things with using this program. Now, I'm not saying like problems and stuff, but I'm saying that it might not work for you for some odd reason. It should, though, because if it worked for me, it should work perfectly fine, because if it's the same uh, app, that you're downloading over. Pretty much iPhone, iPod, and iPad all work for me. It should work. If in a rare chance it doesn't, try other programs where you can download, transfer apps directly to your phone through the computer. All that information's out of the way. You should have the apps downloaded and you should have the programs downloaded. I am gonna switch the batteries here because this is, and this is, so I'll be back. World at War on mobile will only work with iOS between six to 10. I know this because my old iPod I think is six or seven and the iPad I actually use to record is iOS 10. So I know between those two, World at War will work perfectly fine. For the World at War HD version, 
and that is only for iPad and I think will only work on the iPad. So if you want to use that version, you have to have an iPad that's between, I think again, between 6 to 10 for that to actually work. Here's the good news. Black Ops can actually be still played on the newest iOS and on newer iPhones iPads and iPods. So if you somehow don't have an old, you know, iPhone, iPod or iPad and you're like, oh, I can't play World of War, World of War HD. The good news is you can play Black Ops on the newest. You can play Black Ops also on the older two between six to 10. But I noticed on my old, uh, my old iPod, iOS 6, it was really laggy when playing Black Ops. Like it struggled. I don't know if it's just the hardware or something there. The next step, is to actually go ahead and actually open this program. Yes, last in Richtof. So once you do that, now it's gonna ask to hook in a device. Get your device. Oh, and little funny story, USB-C, my computer does not like it because if I use a USB-C on my front panel or my back on the motherboard, it crashes my computer. I don't know if that's still uh, USB-C. I don't know if it's it's kind of weird. You can see here, it immediately found my, uh, this. I have not used this in a while, so, uh, oh yeah, wait, these are all the apps downloaded. All right, let me let me restart. Oh, let me restart. Take two, cause I I, I I forgot. I haven't used this in a while, so I'm pretty sure. Can you can you quit opening stuff there? I'm pretty sure if you click manage apps. Aha, aha. What does that say? Drop files directly. Okay, yep. Let me start. Take three. <laughs> You're probably I'm probably gonna piece together some of these takes, cause that's a fail. I haven't. So obviously you start the program stuff. And then you're gonna hit, can you stop doing that? I'm pretty sure, quick, yeah, you click quick transfer. Most likely y'all will have like the apps on your, oh, you'll have your apps like on the desktop there. But for me, yes, these are some of the apps here. You can see directly there. So we're gonna go ahead and, uh, so I do wanna demonstrate what it'll say. Oh my God, sorry about my hand shaking. So you're probably wondering to yourself, hey Josh, what happens if you try to transfer over World at War to the newest I iOS device? Aha, uh -huh. see, as we're so application data and boot of dies. Woo, no. Cancel, cancel, whoa, no, cancel. Oh no, quick transfer. Uh it's like this is gonna be like take four, because I wanna like kinda show you guys when I so as soon as you start it up, pop up again, that the thing's gonna pop up. Yeah, there you go, there you go. So I'm pretty sure you do click quick transfer, and I'm pretty sure if you got black ops and then you bring it over to here. We'll transfer one compatible files to apps. I'm pretty sure, and then you click transfer. I may as well store application data and reboot your device. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I just realized why it's saying we'll restore the data. Here's why I deleted that. I deleted Black Ops specifically for this video so I could show you guys me, you know, re-downloading it. Oh, and also you can see too, it shows what version iOS I have, which I believe that's the newest one, 17.1.2. It's like, let's talk about some of these games here that I have in my file. Delete, Lost, Dead Space is one of them. Doom 2 RPG, Doom Resurrection. Wolfenstein. Oh, every single game on this list except for Black Ops will work on the newest iOS, so none of the Dead Space won't work, Doom 2, uh, all that there. Let me know in the comments below if you have an older device, because I know for a fact all of these under Black Ops will work in iOS between 6 to 10, except for the HD, which is you need an iPad. But everything other than that will work. Let me know if you would love to have these. Let me know if you would want me to put these in that file. In the link. You know, in the Google Drive. Alright, you can see how I haven't used this program in like 8 months. And yeah, that's a dashy reference there. A ta uh, take 5 or 6 or something. That's pretty sad. So basically, once you get started off, you're going to want to go scroll down click Apps. I'm pretty sure I can just do like this. You know, grab the app and then come over here and boom boom I may as well restore app data and reboot the device restore now continue so ah so it does bring to there as sus as that seems to turn off my iPhone device thingy unfortunately that actually has to be done so you click the settings and at the very top I'm not gonna show it because it's like personal information so the very top 
is going to be your Apple stuff. Blur out kind of stuff here. So then you're going to scroll down until you see like this. And then the Find My, you click it. And then Find My iPhone at the very top. And then you're going to click Off. So then you obviously type in your information your, for your like Apple stuff there. And then pretty much once you disable that, it will finally start copying. That is a little interesting. Strangely enough, though, it did technically not give me an error when I... We'll try we'll try World at War, but I'm pretty sure it'll give me the same error as last time. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of extra stuff uh, behind the footage, or I'm gonna. there's going to be a lot of cut stuff. It's like, well, this is... Uh, it's already... Uh, wow, that was quick. Well, I guess because USB 3.0 and stuff on that new thing. I think this day, like, 46 or 47 of non-stop videos. I was really hoping there would be, like, more amount of views and stuff at this point. I was really hoping that uh, the views would increase. But, as the usual, you can see that the notifications are at less than 1%. Thanks to YouTube being like really messed up, contacting YouTube multiple times. And I'm not pretty much the only person because every zombie YouTuber is suffering. They have like extremely low views for the amount of subs they have. So, and then eventually it'll be like, boom, you're good there. So, oh, look at, there it is. There's, but, so I'm curious now, I think you all are curious. What happens if I try to download uh, World at War? I don't think it's going to work. Let's see what happens if it says, aha. Uh, uh, what? Ah, see, there it is. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was waiting for. I was gonna say, yeah, soon as uh, no longer, yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I expected. So, now, as you can see here, this would be the same process for, like, iPad, iPod. So now, that, that is all downloaded. I transfer it over. Boom, 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 boom. Might as well close the device, yeah. So, now that everything is all good to go. Oh, uh, yeah, see. Wow, I'm surprised. Look at it. It actually showed... So yeah, unfortunately, it keeps giving me an error if I try to, yeah, it says, yeah, oh yeah, this app's gonna be updated, yeah, see, I had to delete it because it said, World at War, that version of it. So yeah, now that you have, now that you did everything, like I said, you can see Black Ops is there, you can see it's not a, not a trick or anything like that, and then you click it, and then... Oh, what is it saying? Uh, allow, network, microphone, yes. I'm not going to screen record it just in case y'all are probably going to be like, oh, that's fake or something. It's very faint to hear. So as you can see here, <laughs> that's so interesting. Cool. Look at boom, boom. So obviously, since we just downloaded, it's locked. Remember, you have to find like the coins and stuff. So there's Ascension, and then we're going to do Rick Toffin. So, I don't know how I'm going to show you guys this. I'm going to have to do, like, one of these or something like that. Very awkward, but, like, listen, I'll turn it up. There it is, yeah. You could see this. This is the newest iOS update. And then the newest version, at least, of the filming of this video. And you can see Black Ops actually works. So, that's pretty sweet, actually. I am very shocked that this worked. But you could see that World of War did not. Uh, where's that zombie going? Oh, oh wow, right? Watch this. And then if I click, if I click... So yeah, there it is. There's the full entire guide to playing mobile Black Ops on the newest iOS that still works. Now, obviously, you can see the framing and scaling is a bit off because when you click it, there's like all the, the extra room there. And besides, this was the very last version because I looked online and it was, like I said at the beginning, or you see on the uh, Google Drive, the 1.3.5, I think. It was either one of those. Whatever it was, it was the very last version before it got deleted let's maybe do like a thumb well not a thumbnail but like you know that it's like that's not creepy thumbnail so yeah that's about it ladies and gentlemen thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's gonna be a lot of work to put it together well i guess not much i don't have to cut a lot thanks for watching and just like always a p p pace video's over it's done so i don't know what you oh, whoa, 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 whoa. uh what is this uh, i'm supposed to be saying that yeah, I know, but I'm you. Yeah, I know so... you're me, and I'm also me, and oh, you're Oh, what's happening there, Josh? And... Are you getting mesmerized yeah, or something? Wait, 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 wait a second. That, that's my word. That's my word. I say that word. Okay, you know what? That's it. That's it. Don't close it. So, yeah, I'm talking about.
Oh, yeah. 